Hi guys, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel, Technical Talks with Naresh. So today we are going to start a new topic that I am getting in lot of requests on my YouTube channel or that videos which I had posted earlier. People needs the interview question for the Oracle Fusion. What they want to know what will get asked during the interview. So I thought to make this video. So what I had done, I had prepared few videos in the parts and I am just going to publish it one by one in the interval of a few days only. so that you can get all that interview question as well as answers from me okay so for this i am just starting this oracle fusion interview question part 1 so before starting just i have to say that if you want to learn thoroughly the oracle fusion i am having oracle fusion playlist in, on my channel which will help you for that so today we are going to concentrate on the interview questions so for that i had prepared few interview questions that we will go one by one go to the slide Okay, so Oracle Fusion technical reporting method. So I divided that interview questions in a few parts. Okay, so here we are going to see. So all this concept we had already seen in our videos. Okay, but that are practically now. Whenever you have to go to the interview, that time they will ask you some questions and how to answer it. What will be the particular answer that I am going to tell you into this video? So Oracle Fusion technical reporting method. First of all, we will concentrate upon. reporting method so what are the different types of reporting methods in in fusion so so there are four methods so the question will be like that what are the reporting tools available in oracle fusion so we are having four reporting tools in oracle fusion that are majorly used so first one is an bip report second one is an otbi report third one is a smart view report and the last one is a financial reporting studio we can call it as an fr studio as well okay so basically the first one and the second one they are mostly used tool into the oracle fusion so smart view reports and financial reporting studio they are bit rarely used in an fusion if you are going to the oracle fusion interview then you have to know what is bip and what is otbi practically as well you need to build some bip reports you need to build some otbi report and based upon that your confidence will be improved okay so first i am just going to tell you what is the bip report so the next question will come like this what is the business intelligence publisher report we will call it as a bip report or bi publisher report so this question will come up so there is a written answer is over there so you can read it out this answer but i i will actually tell you that what is this bip report so this is nothing but the complex reporting in the oracle cloud okay so for this we have to write the sql queries then we have to build the template then we have to do the mappings and then after the report will get generated so for this you need the expertise of sqls okay then you need the technical knowledge as well these reports are used by the business for checking their data okay that we will format into the readable format because whatever stored into the database that is not readable to the users they need into the reporting format that's why there is a concept of a report so there is an one part this is nothing but the bip report okay so bip report i already have a video on my channel so you can go through how to create it okay so this is for the bip report the second one is an otbi report okay so otbi report it is an a bit easier one okay so here we don't need any type of an technical expertise if you are having the functional knowledge as well the module knowledge as well you are able to build it okay so basically this is from the basically functional side bip is uh, mostly the technical side thing and otbi is nothing but the functional side thing so there is an one user interface where you can just do drag and drop and you can just create this respective report but for this you have to know that which columns you need which field is you need where you have to place so designing knowledge you need there you also don't need to worry about the tables detail what is the table name what is the column name that also you don't have to know here you just have to know the module and you you just have to know the concept functionally so you will able to build this report okay so for this also i am having one video on my channel you can go through that and you can see how to build it the next one is an what is the smart view report so basically a smart view report is nothing but the excel addins okay so they will just do the addins and uh, they will create a multi dimensional view for this report so multi dimensional view means uh, in excel we are having some pivot reports okay so the standardized version 
okay we can say that uh, like as a standardized version of that pivoting things okay so there is a uh, smart view report they will build okay so uh, this smart view report again classified into two parts that is an ad hoc analysis and then functional report okay so that are the regarding the smart view then next one is nothing but the fr reporting studio so fr is nothing but the financial reporting okay so basically why this fr is used whenever the client is having the financial reporting requirement that time mostly this fr studio will get used okay this reporting methodology will get used so this is also the same like as an otbi report we will just use the drag and drop functionality to create this report and we will create the rows column and the different types of you know, pages in this report so this is something but the reporting tools which are used in the fusion so basically we will use this four type of tools i had explained you in the short as well what are the other things and there is a word to word answer is also there you can just go through that okay so now next question is like as in how to get the oracle fusion application information in bip report so in bip report we are we have to know that who had created suppose this report okay so that you have to know that who had created what are the different types of an roles that users is having and all that type of an detail so for that in an oracle apps article it is very easy we are having the concept of an user id and responsibility id so you can see here user id and responsibility id okay so by that you can just get that who had created and we are having some who columns also in our tables in an oracle apps r12 but what is what into the fusion so in fusion we are having some system variables okay we will call it as a system variable by that we can know that who had created the report how many roles he is having what role he has used what language he has used so there are few types of an different types of an system variable i had just explained it here so interviewer will ask you that how to get the oracle fusion application information or what are the different system variable which you used during creation of the otbi report okay so these are the respective system variable you can mention over there like as an xdu underscore user underscore name the first one so it it is used to get the user id of the user who had submitted that respective report okay so we are having what we are having xdu underscore user underscore name similarly second we have the xdu underscore user underscore roles so this is used to capture the role what are the different roles that particular user is having which had submitted that report so by this respect to xdu underscore user underscore roles we can just get that then after we are having xdu underscore user underscore report underscore oracle underscore language or lang so this will use to give the prefer language for that user then similarly we are having some more that is xdu underscore user underscore report underscore local which is used to get the local of the user account preferences then next is nothing but the xdu user ui oracle lang so it is used to get the interface language means whatever the front end i am just having so that is based in which language like as an uh, english or there is some other languages as well in the oracle fusion that they are using so but these are the system variable how to use this respect to system variable how for getting the value so in start only i had said that it is a system variable so how we can get the values for the system variable so simply we can just write a select query like as in select like as in this is my xdu underscore user underscore name so this is my respective system variable i had just used here the bind variable and here also the second one that is a bind variable xdu underscore user underscore roles from the dual so we will just write the table as in dual and from the dual table we will get such information so whenever you have to use this into your reporting that time this this is the method how you can just use that one now next topic is in oracle fusion technical different processes so we will go through the different processes which is used into the fusion so based upon that processes we are having next questions so first of all what is my folder and shared folder in an oracle fusion reports okay so if you are building any type of a report in a fusion you have to know this concept what is the my folder and what is the shared folder this is a very simple concept that you have to aware okay if you are not aware so means you had not built any type of a report practically so first the thing is that 
my folder so my folder is nothing but the suppose if i am just building one bip report or otbi report in a fusion application so while saving it will ask you where to save that so if you selected the option as in my folder so that time this respective report only you can open only you can view or only you can run okay because that is only for you that is in a my folder the name itself indicate that you are storing into the my folder location so it is not accessible to all but if you are storing it to the shared folder and after that shared folder you are having subfolder as well so in shared folder you are if you are saving it by any chance so that will be the global suppose your client is asked you to build up one report which is having some xyz columns and which is having some interface and he want to show that report so while building what you will do in starting you will just save that report into my folder because in development phase you don't have to show it to anyone okay so you just build it there will be some error there will be some uh type of internet data correction that you at the end you will do that and uh, while showing to the client or just while going to it production that time you will save it to the shared folder so all the people who is having the access for that respective environment they can access that so that is the difference between the my folder and the shared folder the next one is in what is the schedule process in oracle fusion so schedule process so schedule process is nothing but the running the jobs so in oracle r12 so i am just always saying you the comparison between the r12 and the fusion why because most of our audience will be from the r12 so r12 got upgraded to the fusion first thing and we are using now that fusion okay so if we are just relatively studying that one so it is easy so that's why i am just telling it comparatively so basically in r12 we are having the concept of an concurrent program or concurrent request so there is an one program that i have to run daily 1 am okay so what i will do uh, i will just go daily and i will run that thing but sometime it is very difficult to go me to do and run it daily so what i will do basically i will schedule that respect to program schedule means i will give the timing and it have to just start at the same time 1 1 pm or 1 am whatever time i am just giving that time it have to just start so that is nothing but the called as a schedule process so we will schedule the concurrent program in an oracle apps r12 so similar way in the oracle fusion we can schedule the ess job okay so the concurrent program is called as an ess job in an fusion so by that way we can just run the different types of an report or different types of an script using the fusion okay so this is nothing but the schedule process in the fusion so now we are having the oracle fusion jobs so all the next question will be based upon the fusion jobs so first one is what is the ess job in an oracle fusion as i told you few minutes back only concurrent program in an r12 is nothing but the called as an ess job in an oracle fusion suppose if you have to run any type of an a report or if you have to schedule any type of an bip report in an oracle fusion so that time you have to just create one ess job and that ess job will schedule or that ess job will run that respective bip report okay how to create the ess job how to schedule it how to run it that on that also i am having multiple videos on my channel you can just go through that one okay so next question is what is the job set in an oracle fusion so job set basically so job set is nothing but call as a request set in an r12 so suppose i am just having five number of an programs which i have to run one by one so if a first one is completed i have to start immediately second one second is completed i have to start third one similarly if third is completed fourth fourth is completed then fifth so i have to run that in the same sequence and daily so that time what i will do i can do two options that i can schedule the programs but the issue in the scheduling is what so i am scheduling first program as at 1 am it will take around and 30 minutes only so that system will not know that that pro respect to program is completed or not so there is there can be clash if that program is delayed then my second program will start earlier so that type of an a sequence issues will happen over there so just eliminating that type of an issue what i will do i will just create one job set okay i will just create that respect to job set and i will add all this respect to five programs into that job set and i will add in the same sequence 
by which i have to run that one okay so uh, so once that first program get got completed the second program will get triggered automatically once second is completed third will trigger once third is completed fourth will trigger and so on so by this sequence we i don't have any type of any dependency of any time so all the process will get automated so i there is no human intervention is needed okay so that is called as a job set so in job set we can just combine the different types of an ESL job and we can just schedule it. Okay. The word to word definition is on my screen as well. Then after there are a few ESL job tables. So if you are just creating the ESL job where the respect to data will go. So such type of a question will also get asked. So there is a fusion.ess request history. So there you will get the history of that respect to suppose I had submitted uh, one ESL job and it's also completed or it's error out or it anything it is pending state so where it will just go so that all the respective data will go into the table that is ESS underscore request underscore history okay and the second table is nothing but the ESS underscore request underscore properties so in this property table what will be thing so all the respective details so like as I know what are the parameter what are the other things what are the property that uh, detail will just go and store into the second table so these are the most important table related to the ESL job if you have to check any detail of the ESL job you have to just query this respect to ESL job table so that's, that is nothing but the regarding the ESL job so I'm just not making this video more longer so in this just video I just given you the heads up to the Oracle Fusion and the small really easier question for the Oracle Fusion in next video we will go through some bit complex questions and so on if you have any type of any questions any type of any doubts you can just write me into the comment section of my any video or this video you can reach out to my email as well so these are just the heads up to the interview question i am not giving that this only questions are going to come or uh, these are only the answers so the answers may be the different the question may be the different this is just for the practice purpose if you had worked on the oracle fusion this all the details you know that but i'm just telling you that how to answer it properly so it will help you in boosting your knowledge thanks for watching please like share subscribe my channel thank you